Hi there. This is Ryan Malloy here at the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. In this video, we're going to discuss how to form a parabola. Let's suppose that you're given an equation of a parabola about something like y equals x squared minus 2x minus 3. We want to know what the graph of this looks like. Now one method would be to simply take x values and plug them into our equation, see what y values we get, and make points one by one. And that will certainly work. But we can find some more interesting information about this parabola before we begin. The first is the vertex. Now, in a parabola of the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, and c are constants, the x-coordinate of the vertex, we'll call it xv, is given by negative b over 2a. So here, our parabola is already written in this form. So we can simply take the coefficients that we already have and plug it into this formula. Our b is negative 2, so negative negative 2 is positive 2. And our a is 1. So we get 2 over 2, which simplifies to 1. Now to find the y-coordinate of the vertex, we simply take this number and plug it back into our original equation. So yv is equal to 1 squared minus 2 times 1 minus 3. Or 1 minus 2 minus 3 which is equal to negative 4. So we go over to x equals 1, y equals negative 4, put a point right there. That's our vertex. So another piece of interesting information that we want to know is where are the x-intercepts? Where does the graph of this cross the x-axis? Luckily, this equation can be factored. In fact, you can rewrite it as x plus 3, x minus 3 actually, times x plus 1. And if you're ever uncertain about your factorization, you can simply multiply these by each other, and you should get the original equation. OK. So what does this tell us? Well, this is going to equal 0 when either x minus 3 equals 0 or x plus 1 equals 0. And that happens at x equals positive 3 or x equals negative 1. Excellent. So now that we have these key pieces of information, we have a general idea of what the shape of the parabola is going to be. Let's give ourselves two more points to work with. Why don't we plug in x equals 0, which is always a very easy one to evaluate. At x equals 0, we have y equals 0 minus 0 minus 3. So we have 0 minus 3. Now, because a, vert a parabola can be symmetrical about the vertex, we know that since this is one unit to the left of the vertex, if we go one unit to the right of the vertex, our y value will be the same. So that's 2 minus 3. And from here, we can always add more points above the x-axis if you want to. But for now, we'll simply connect the points that we have with a smooth curve. And there we have our parabola. My name is Ryan Malloy, and we've just discussed how to form a parabola.